All right. So checking this out. Um, it's definitely the better camera view. It's, it's more. I think that would be more like it. But the thing is, the thing that I like about this one is that as an audience, we're looking here and we know that he is going to do everything, you know, regarded, regarding um, this platform here or related to this platform. But because we have this, because we introduced this, you are as an audience member going, I wonder if something's going to happen with that. So it creates a, a cool anticipation and kind of a sense of wonder. And it's cool because you know more than the character. I like what you have here. Gets ready. Gets all ready for this. Careful then once you do this. Even if he lifts it from here and we have to say that... Um, this is your your heavy part, right? If you lift it, it to me it feels like it would it will pivot off here. So you would end up with the block here and him more in, into something like that. As opposed to lifting straight off where this section goes up. If that makes sense. And that's correct. I mean I know he has his hand further closer to this but I think this is this will work if there was another one here you know so maybe it will be pivoting maybe maybe slightly get off the ground while pivoting so it's kind of you're doing this with the slight lift um, but that is correct here as you go up now something you can think about in terms of contrast is that right now he's always behind this right this is the uh, the object is always behind it so maybe uh it's not super crucial i'm just wondering in terms of you know contrast he's always behind it and now when here when he changes it what if at this point he would have his right foot leg here but then the other one uh towards us so that the uh, this part is between his legs and he has stuff here right and then he lifts it up. Something where, where he will kind of change his stance and it's, it wouldn't be always on that one side. Just for contrasting and playing with depth of the shot. You know, you don't want it to be always within that line. You want to make sure that he does travel back and into frame. Um, so especially when, you know, once he's up here and he, he holds the thing and he, and he goes back, it's not just purely going back in this line, but he's actually kind of swerving and using the depth and the whole set. I think that would add some nice uh, three-dimensionality to the shot. Um, but as you say, it's a bit less. I mean, uh, you know, there's the whole, there's a big chunk missing. So this is all that I would have for now. I would, I would probably go out and continue blocking out the rest and not worry, uh, worry about crazy details from the beginning. I think it would be good to see everything um, blocked out so we can judge, you know, the length of it, uh, and we can see where. The, might you know where there could be some changes in terms of position or something okay thank you all right there's an email you can sign up you can start whenever you want you can submit whatever you want you get 16 submissions either way a like and subscribe would be awesome all right thank you